Hi, I'm Dennis Klingman from Lincoln Electric Company. Recently retired, but uh, joining the training department for a, a NASCAR Technical Institute training program here for the NASCAR teams in Mooresville, North Carolina. One of the materials we're focusing on this training program is titanium. It uh, seems new to a lot of motorsports people, uh, but it's really an old material, and it's actually uh, been in the military and uh, aerospace industry since the 40s. Titanium is impervious to uh, a lot of uh, atmospheric uh, uh, corrosion uh, that we get with steel, for instance. Uh, some other materials are more uh, resistant, like uh, stainless steel, uh, like the nickel-based alloys. Titanium is at, near the top of the list for, for corrosion resistance. In motorsports, we like it because uh, it's light and has a great uh, weight to, uh, to strength ratio. And we, we use titanium in place of uh, other common materials, for instance, uh, chromoly. I'm using a V205 uh, inverter TIG machine. Uh, you could use a 225 uh, standard transformer machine. Uh, an everyday TIG machine will weld titanium. If it welds on DC and it has a high frequency or any generated uh, starting system that allows you to start the arc without touching tungsten against the work. There is no scratch starting with tungsten. You have to, you have, to have a, a starting system. The machine can be simple. The torch can be simple. This is a typical torch when it comes to machines like you see every day everybody TIG welds with, but we have to modify it slightly. One thing about titanium is it has a strong affinity for oxygen. If there's any uh, way it can absorb oxygen at elevated temperatures, it's going to do that. And when, when, when titanium uh, reacts with oxygen at an elevated temperature, it not only gets a surface oxide, it actually goes through the material. And the part is no longer high strength. With titanium, if you get your coloration on there, that uh, indicates you probably don't have a good weld, and you remove it chemically or you remove it uh, mechanically, uh, it's a problem. It's because it's in the material. It's not a surface oxide just like uh, uh, stainless would be. So we have to learn that uh, you have to do this job right or the part's not going to be uh, useful. So to modify our torch slightly, we'll, we'll take off our standard ceramic nozzle. We'll remove our collet body and collet and uh, replace it with a gas lens system. And gas lens systems have been around a long time. They do a little different job in shielding. They actually diffuse the shielding gas better than the, than the typical collet body. Typical collet body has holes in it. The gas comes out around that, flows out through the nozzle. Uh, it's, it's not quite as diffused as the gas lenses. The gas lenses, this is a typical gas lens that you'd find that would go in this torch. It's nice, simple, clean. And it has, a, uh, it has a screen in the front of it. This stainless screen, when the gas comes through it, instead of having ports around it, uh, it actually diffuses it like your faucet in your sink, your kitchen. If you took that diffuser off your faucet, you'd see raw water coming out of there. Uh, same as the, with that standard collet body. When it comes out of those holes, it's not really as diffused as well. This, this gas is diffused well. And it really protects your tungsten well from the, from the very start of the uh, collet body all the way out through the uh, uh, arc. Now, again, this is uh, what you'd typically see for gas. If someone said, let's put a gas lens on our torch, that's what you'd see. But we're dealing with titanium, and we're going to do a better job than this. So what we do is we replace the standard gas lens for this torch with an extra large gas lens, an extra large collet body. It's, it's a one inch large gas lens, much larger, much more shielding gas, much more protection of the base metal than the standard gas lens or the standard collet body. This large lip on here allows our cup to seat against it. Our nozzle, large nozzle. Now we have a much larger uh, gas lens surface area. Much larger flow of gas, takes a higher flow rate on your torch. But you cover a much better, much bigger area. And the advantage of this is that you uh, can move further uh, and not lose your shielding. Uh, with a small gas lens, you can only move maybe a half inch and you'll be coming out of your shielding and the material will still be at a temperature over four to 600 degrees, which will react with oxygen. So with this large lens, it, lead, it allows you to move maybe a little further, three quarter of an inch, before you leave the gas shielding coming out of this torch.